Warning this tutorial doesn't contain the following information. How to download Minecraft. How to open dot Minecraft. How to install Forge slash Fabric. How to install mods. How to use text editor. How to read. How to use brain. This tutorial is Java edition only and is all about Palladium which is a Minecraft mod that allows you to add custom content to the game using add-on packs. And the purpose of this video is to teach you how to make those. Before you start making an add-on, you have to know about two really important resources. The Palladium Wiki, which will be linked in the description. It contains quite a lot of useful information and it also has a getting started guide. The second useful resource is located at .minecraft mods documentation palladium. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be looking only at two files from this folder. That would be it for this part of the video. And now let's move on to the second part of this video, which will be actually making an add-on. We start off by navigating to .minecraft add-on packs. This folder and the documentation folder in mods only appear after you launch the game with Palladium installed. Create a folder, name it something. Inside that folder create a file called pack.mcmeta where mcmeta is the extension of this file. Inside this text file you should create something like this. Version is the version of your a pack and pack format is the pack format used for data packs and resource packs and so I'm using 1.20.1 so the pack format is 15 and now id if you ever used commands before you probably know that if you for example want to give yourself an item you have to type minecraft dirt for example or if you're uh, want a modded item you have to type something like palladium vibranium block of course your pack also needs an id so you need to create one like for example i can name my id pi in the same folder as pack mc meta you also need two additional folders one named data and one named assets. Inside both of those folders, you need to make a folder that has the same name as your add-on ID. So for example, for me, the name will be pi. And now let's make a superpower. To do that, you should go to data, add-on ID, and create a folder called palladium, and inside that folder, a folder called powers. Inside the powers folder, you can create a JSON file, to create a superpower and you can give it a name for example i named my cool you will be able to access this superpower by using a command name will be the name displayed to players in the menu so for example i will call it background is also used in the superpower menu and icon is the icon that the superpower will have. So for example, and now this superpower will have an icon that's just the Minecraft item stick. Now we want to add abilities to our superpower. And to do that, we have to first find out what abilities we can use. We can open abilities.html, which is located at mods documentation palladium and it's a file that looks like this it opens in your browser and we can just look at different abilities like for example we want to add energy blast and to do that we click here and we have a description of what this ability does and we also have this really helpful table and we have an example of what it will look like in the JSON file. We can paste uh, that entire example here to our file and we can change a few th things. First of all, for, uh, we need to add a name to this ability. And this will also be uh, used for 
other really useful stuff that we will cover in another video. To do that, you first have to add quotes and then this and give it a name, like for example. Now we will leave this icon as blaze rod and we can change the title of this ability to title is the name that appears in game for players and this here is this here won't appear for players bar color uh, will let's make it orange hidden and hidden in bar uh, also will be covered in another video we can remove those for now list index also will be another video same as GUI position but we can add a description like so origin eyes that means that those will be uh, two lasers coming out of our eyes and color let's make it this and damage let's make it five and max distance uh, ten the entire time i had my minecraft open so now we can test our superpower using the superpower command as you can see there is no uh, there is no superpower here because we haven't reloaded our pack yet to do that you have to use the reload command this will reload everything in the data folder because it's the same as a data pack you can reload assets using f3 and t but now that it's reloaded we can use the superpower command Now that everything is fixed, we can test our superpower. And as you can see, purple lasers. But they are on all the time and we don't want that. And that's what we are going to fix now. Now we will use conditions. This file is located in the same place as abilities.html, but it is called conditions. It also contains a list of possible conditions and the one we are searching and, and the one we are searching for is called health. Just like in the abilities file, we have an example that we can copy. To add a condition to an existing ability, we have to do this. There are two types of conditions, enabling and unlocking. And now the condition we need is enabling. We can now paste that example that we had copied earlier. And we can leave this as keybind. This will be uh, a key provided by palladium and needs empty hand also can stay as false but we can give it a cooldown of, of let's say three seconds okay now we can reload our pack and as you can see we now have a keybind in the corner and we can press V to enable it 
and it has a cooldown so it cannot be used forever only three seconds and then it, it recharges and that would be it for part one of this tutorial i hope you learned something if you did please like and subscribe